You've helped many organizations devise their KM strategy and develop scorecards for tracking progress. Can you help us understand what are some of the best practices for creating a meaningful KM scorecard? Yes, the, uh, the beginning point is always to answer the question if knowledge management is the answer, what's the question? What is it we're trying to accomplish by focusing on knowledge sharing? And inevitably, you'll find it's a business challenge. We need to be more agile. We need to reduce the time it takes for us to get a good answer to our customer. We need to um, uh, improve the uh, efficiencies in our work activity. Uh, it's, it's often issues of, of time, productivity, perhaps it's a, a creative uh, issue that we need a new stock of ideas. We are we're too slow to act on an idea. And, but if you ask people what it is that is behind the question of knowledge management, you'll get to the business issue and that's where you start with your performance scorecard. You always start with what is it we're trying to accomplish from a business perspective and you work backward from there. Okay. Too many times people turn it around. Mm -hmm. they, they get it backwards. They start with we're going to do knowledge management um, and we can, we can do this and we can do this and you know, they, they rattle off this whole um, universe of potential business outcomes, but you always want to start with what is the real business question that's driving uh, the interest in knowledge management.